Hi, Andy Stoffer with Stoffer & Sons Construction. Here we are in uh, Black Forest, Colorado. It's uh, March of 2014. Uh, this home we're doing here is a fire rebuild after the 2013 Black Forest fire. This was actually the, the, the very first home to burn. The fire started uh, just a couple hundred yards this way. We had done a couple of remodels for these folks that own this home in the last three, four years. and. Uh, well, when they found out that they lost their home, we got a call within a day or two and they said, well, uh, we haven't been there yet, but we suspect we're going to want to rebuild. So once they were able to get on site and assess the damage, which was considerable, they lost uh, probably 90% of their trees on their property here. Um, they decided, hey, we do indeed want to go ahead and rebuild. And so here we are. And uh, as you can see, we're well into it. We've got the main floor framing going on. One thing I'd, I'd like to do is uh, oftentimes you'll hear architectural terms that we kind of take for granted in the industry um, that a lot of people hear but don't necessarily know what they are. One of them would be cantilever. Uh, that is a, a structural uh, gyration or a structural um, feat, so to speak, where the, the load that is placed upon this floor system, which is pushing down on it, is supported by the fact that this joist and all of these joists within the system actually extend way back into the floor. So what you get here is a, a load opportunity in the form of the exterior wall and a joist that sits over it. And so it extends out past and you'd think it would actually give way except for the fact that all of the load here has imparted its structure, its rigidity to it. So within certain capabilities or capacities, you can exert downward pressure here and it will be accommodated for or mitigated by this span here. Generally, there's a, a two to one principle to where if we're gonna extend two foot out, I'm gonna need at least four foot back. And, and there's other uh, uh, sizing uh, rules of thumb that engineers will use and then not to mention just calcing things out to where they make sure that this is satisfying the load placed upon it. So that's a cantilever. 